Hi guys, it's Bruno Dan here again. We're having a quick look today at a Furuno Time Zero Touch installation on board a Harburg Rassi. In fact, it's number one hull of the 412 range, which they've just released. Beautiful boat, and today we're going to have a look, quick look at the installation of our Furuno equipment and also a little bit around the boat as well. So um, stick with us and we'll show you some more. Okay, we start off here on the coach roof. We've got a TZ Touch 14 and some instruments just to the uh, to the left of the screen there. Just see them there. And as we go back, we can also see the Time Zero Touch 14 mounted into the pedestal just there, right in front of the wheel. And my reflection. So there we are. We're in the handle at the moment. And as we go through, we'll show you a little bit more about where the equipment is and how it all integrates together. Okay, let's have a quick look down below and have a nose around this Halo Rassi 412. And here we have the main saloon area and the galley. And one of the rear cabins. And this is one on this side here. And let's go past, we have a look at the chart table, chart area. And the four feet there. Going back to the electronics on board, this particular vessel has our Nav Pilot 700, which you can just see at the bottom of the screen there. It also has our PG700 compass and a DRS 2D radome. So we'll have a quick look at the radar here on the coach roof plotter. So we're just going for the main menu and dialing up the radar. We're going to have a quick look at some of the AIS targets on board. There we go. So the Red Eagle, that's one of the uh, ferries that goes over to the Isle of Wight. And if we look at the information, you can see that it runs from Southampton to Cowes back to Southampton again. Okay, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. What I'm doing there is just resizing the guard zone. So with the guard zone we can set up um, alarms that are specific to, uh, to, our, to our guards area. The radar is just restarting itself at a, a lower um, range there. So what it's doing is actually spinning faster now because we've zoomed in from what it was before. Okay, so we can have a quick look at radar. You can see how clearly in uh, high definition it is on there. Each of the pontoons clearly visible. There's all the little targets that are moving around us as well. Okay, now we're going to have a look at the charts that are available on this uh, this particular unit. I'm um, just going to go and have a look at this and uh, and show you some of the detail levels that we've got there available. This is the raster chart. This is a scan of a paper chart, a more traditional style um, view of a chart. The advantages to this is they're very clear, very easy to read, and they hold a lot of information. As you can see, I'm just there putting on some waypoints and there's a new route. Now we can also display digital charts or vector charts. Uh, this particular unit's got Navionics on board. There we go, I'm just finishing off a little bit of route there. Taking that. As you can see, the units are really easy to use no matter where they are. I'm just going to go in and re edit this and call it Faruna Dan. Ok, 
Okay, like I said earlier, we're going to have a look at the rest of the um, Navionics chart there. Uh, they call these vector charts, they're digital charts, which means we can interrogate them. Um, we've also put on there the uh, satellite photography overlay. You can see the individual berths, indeed, some of the individual vessels that are in there. Bit. So these high resolution photographs, you can get a real good situational awareness of where you are. The depth shading overlay there, which is added on. This uh, highlights channels that may, uh, may be around you and also highlights more clearly if you've not been there before. This is a really useful layer to have on board. And you can see we're going to have a look at this, uh, this particular channel. In raster charts we get the contour lines on the charts. And then we nip into our 3D mode of our two finger gesture. And around you can see that channel really clearly so um, even if you're coming into somewhere that you've never been before you know which way to stay and where to uh, where to navigate to okay that concludes our have a grassy walkthrough I uh, hope you've enjoyed it we'll um, hope we'll be picking up a lot more videos from Halberg and um, the vessel is a really nice vessel so, um, so yeah look them up